guys and welcome to the Swatchers version of what's the best peel off base coat because I had way too much footage so it needed its own video. But even if all you do is swatch nail polish I highly recommend you still watch my main peel off base coat video because I only talk about things like application and drying time in that video. In other words you need to watch both my videos to round out your education. For those who aren't sure swatching just means when you put on one color of nail polish solely for the purpose of taking photos and then taking the nail polish right off to do it all over again. So naturally you'd want to minimize the effort it takes to keep on switching your nail polish. And in my opinion this also means avoiding nail polish remover because that can dry out your cuticles which doesn't make for good pictures. And even if you counteract that dryness by putting on a moisturizer or some oil, then your greasy skin pics also don't make for great pictures because it's not a Kim Kardashian photo shoot. In this video, we're going to test the effectiveness of removal for swatchers. In other words, how easy is it to remove each base coat after 30 minutes or so, after you've had enough time to take hundreds of pictures of the same pose and nail polish and now you're ready to move on to the next one in your swatchathon. But because we don't always swatch glitter polish, I also tested the base coats under multi-chrome polishes because they would definitely show if the base coat was lumpy, which is something you really don't want when you're swatching. Overall, I did 32 separate tests, and in this video you'll see half of them, and the other half in the other video, which is more geared towards normal people who leave their nail polish on for longer than half an hour. Links to all the polishes and products you see here are below in the video description box. As always, we start with naked nails. Mine are yellow, yes, but I'm gonna go out on a limb here and guess that if it's true that most of you are indeed swatchers out there, and you have semi-long nails, then I'm gonna guess that you also have yellow nails, so welcome to the family. First up, Orly One Night Stand. She is glue based like most of the others I'm gonna try today. Now how polish applies on top of base coats is a very important thing for swatchers but I didn't want to keep repeating myself so please watch my other video if you want to find out more about how polish applies over top of all these different peel off base coats. Also FYI I applied a glossy top coat on all of my test swatches because that's exactly what swatchers do well most of the time I think. Now let's see how a swatcher might find this peel off base coat after waiting 30 minutes after taking pictures. And I don't even need to say it, but orally one night stand, you already suck. It's leaving behind like disgusting clumps of glue and it's not even peeling off all that well. Look at that, the glue is still wet after it was certainly dry on my nail. How does that happen? I don't know. If I have to peel off little pieces of base coat off my nail after I take off the peel off base coat, that defeats the entire purpose of a peel off base coat. Let's try the Menchi Hollow Glitter Nail. Even though I don't wanna take her off, she's so pretty. And and same thing again, disgusting, the glue turned wet, how, why, oh I hate glue shit. And again I have to clean some disgusting gunk off my nail, therefore 2 out of 10 for swatcher removals. Let's try NYC Strip Me Off, available in most drugstores. She is also made of glue. And 30 minutes later, let's try and get naked again. This one takes quite a few pushes to get off, but I mean, it's not leaving anything behind, so that's a good sign. I do feel like it dried out my nail a little bit, but I think that's kind of the problem with all glue-based peel-off based products. Morning, I hate glue. It did seem to peel off quite well, I guess, for the multi-chrome polish though. So I'm gonna give this a 6 out of 10 because it still was a little pushy if you know what I mean and if I wasn't careful then I would have accidentally pulled it apart into different pieces. Next up, Sally Hansen's version of glue peel off base coat. And 30 minutes later for swatcher people, 32 minutes cause I got distracted by the hollow. Oh my god, look at all those rainbows in my face. It removed fine up until the tip. This sometimes happens to me. I think it's cause my nails are kinda curved. But at least it's not leaving any gross glue behind so that's a plus. But I'm really struggling as you can see trying to get the end off and this is not good. You don't wanna be hacking at your nails to peel it off. Bad Sally, bad. And my nail is dried out all over again. Great. Let's see how she does with glitter. Again, this one isn't really peeling off in one clean pull. I'm forced again to really pick at the end and it kind of seems like it's not fully dry. So again, this is a glue base that takes uh, clearly more than 30 minutes to dry. 
Okay, let's try OPI's Glitter Off slash Natural Nail Base Coat. And yet another glue base product, are you surprised? And 30 minutes later, what do we got, what do we got? This one seems to be performing like most of the glue base peel off base product. You have to push it a bit and then there's a little bit left over at the tip of the nail. Let's try the glitter removal and wow, that really sucks, doesn't it? Which is weird because to me it seems like maybe I didn't wait long enough, but I thought I waited 30 minutes, but maybe I was getting impatient. I don't remember. But in the past, I've used OPI peel off base with glitter and taken it off in 30 minutes or so around there and it was fine. So I don't know what's happening here. I seem to have extraneous variables that I can't control. How about we try some Simply Peel? She's a latex barrier, which if you know anything about nails, and I hope you do because you're a swatcher, is all the rage in all things nails these days. Obviously her intended purpose isn't to be used as a peel off base coat, and here's why. You can definitely see all the bumpies, but let's try it anyways. 30 minutes or so later, and yeah, clearly that's a pretty amazingly clean removal. It came off in one full piece, no issues at all and again with the glitter. Liquid latex is one of the best removal thingies ever, and I don't have any weird crap left behind on the surface of my nail, so that's great. I think my nail is just dried out from the abuse that it has taken up until this point. This is Unt Peel Off Base Coat, which marks the first peel off base coat that's meant to be a peel off base coat that's not made out of glue. Finally, even before I peel it off, I would say that this is the best peel off base coat for swatchers because it's so smooth and it applies like a regular base coat, so you're not gonna get any weird bumps or anything like that at all. Now let's watch me take it all off. And look at that, beautiful. It comes off with a little bit of pushing and then one nice pull. Let's try it again for multi-chrome. I'm just pushing a bit gently here because I don't wanna stab myself. And then I peel it off at the tip and I always seem to have this problem with the sides no matter what base coat I use. That's because my nails are really curved. And beautiful, look, my nails aren't even dried out or at least they don't appear to be as dried out as they normally are after I use a glue peel off base coat. And I'm gonna give you a 10 out of 10, but mostly because you didn't ruin my nails, therefore you get full points. And of course, before there were any Sally Hansen or OPI or NYC strip me off for any of those, there was actual glue. And glue was always a weird, strange, and well, disgusting thing to apply to your nail. And after waiting basically years for this glue to dry on my nail, let's see how well it removes after a year plus 30 minutes. I can tell already that the glue base was very thin, hence why it's not really sticking together that well, and I don't really seem to have a lot to hold on to when I go to peel it off. This is why I believe that some people say they always use two coats of glue peel off base coat, but then you're gonna wait 20 minutes to put base coats on your nails, so fuck that. These little dingleberries won't come off. Glitter should come off better, you'd think, but it's not. Look, the glitter itself has seemingly separated from the glue. Do you see that? You see that like film looking thing? Ugh, so freaky, what's going on? And I didn't really enjoy how unpredictable that removal process seemed to be, so I'm giving it a six out of 10 because I can. Last and, spoiler alert, definitely least, let's try Yellow Stopper. Now Yellow Stopper is not technically a peel off base coat, but I've seen a few different nail polish swatch people on Instagram say that they always use it as a peel off base coat in between their swatches. So let's try it out. And the answer is it doesn't really remove, does it? Oh no, this is not how things are supposed to unfold. This is not okay. Looks like a bunch of jelly candies got melted on my nails or something. So I'm not even gonna bother scraping them because then I would literally be scraping my nails. Let's try the multi-chrome and the same thing is happening here. I don't know if the base coat is just not dry enough or if it made a strange bond with the nail polish then kind of melted it. I think that's what's going on here. Either way, this shouldn't be happening with any peel off base coat you use. You shouldn't have to scrape it off like this. But then again, yellow stopper isn't supposed to be used as a peel off base coat. It's just a few nail people have decided to be innovative and try it that way. Way. But I give it a big thumbs down. This is gross. Well, this result means that I gotta bring back the dreaded acetone. I use some oil to help protect my skin, but basically this all defeats the purpose of this whole goddamn experiment. I'm officially the worst scientist ever. And now only the tinfoil method will save my glitter nail. There's still some on the sides. 
of course. Do you see why people don't like using acetone? Do you see? You see that white scaliness all over my skin? Oh, gross. You get a negative 5 out of 10 for removal. All right, class, it's summary time. Here's the scores for all eight peel-off base coats in all four categories. Overall for swatchers, the award for best peel-off base coat goes to Unt Peel-Off Base Coat, which also happens to be the winner for the best normal person peel-off base coat challenge. Now watch me go put my peelies in a bag at the end of my other video. Thanks for watching, bye.